All right, we're here again once again at WesterCon doing presentations for future Worldcon bids. This is the DC and 17 bid, and uh, here to give us a little talk is Warren Buff. <laughs> Hello. Okay, I'm reading the mic enough now? Yeah. I'm Warren Buff. I am representing DC 17. We are bidding to bring Worldcon to Washington, DC in mid-August, the 16th through the 20th, which again is a Wednesday through Sunday, at the Marriott Wardman Park Hotel. Uh, we do have a large bid committee combining both DC, East Coast fandom, and fandom at large. Uh, we feel that this blend allows us to have a fairly strong presence uh, we also have a representation of many different approaches to fandom. Uh, we, we do have a good degree of experience, including four past Worldcon chairs and uh, several more previous division heads or chairman staff level folks. Uh, more about the Marriott Warden Park. It was actually the host hotel for Discon 2 in 1974. It has been pretty completely rebuilt since then now. Uh, it does feature 195,000 square feet of function space, including 95,000 square feet of exhibit space, which, having just run exhibits in Texas, I believe would be adequate to art show dealer's room and special exhibits. Uh, we also have a block of 1,100 hotel rooms in the main hotel. We are talking to an overflow hotel across the street. I believe we're close on that, Chris? Yeah. Uh, we are close to having an agreement with the Omni Shoreham, which is across the street for overflow. And between the two of them should be able to handle the size world con we would expect on the East Coast. Uh, our room rates are 149 a night, single through quad. For both hotels? Uh, for both hotels. Uh, we do have a number of large suites, including five presidential suites. I believe the parties will be adequately taken care of in that regard. <laughs> Uh, real briefly here, we have some layout. Uh, this is the upper level, the, the mezzanine level. You can see there's actually some balcony seating there. Uh, that is in the main ballroom, which we'd use for Hugo's and Masquerades. There would be some, some balcony seating in that room available. Uh, most of our programming would be up on this floor. Slide. Uh, that's the main lobby level there. As you can see, the big ballroom. Several other ballrooms, which we could use for things like con suite, green room, uh, nice row of offices down the back. Uh, all the things that world kind needs. Basically, slide please. Uh, this is the right amounts of the right kinds of function space for a world kind. Uh, down here we have all our exhibit space on in a basement level, and it's nicely divided up in ways that we could separate out dealers room art shows, special exhibits as we please. That is carpeted exhibit space, uh, which if you have been in uncarpeted exhibit space, <laughs> you will understand why you want carpets. Slide, please. Uh, this is the immediate area. Across the street on these two blocks, we have two dozen, hotel, uh, two dozen restaurants of uh, various cuisines, uh, multiple Japanese, uh, Indian, Italian, Chinese, also Lebanese. Afghan, Lebanese, uh, French. Uh, there is an Irish pub, uh, several basic American cuisines, uh, I believe a Cajun place as well. Slide, please. Uh, there are three major airports serving Washington, D.C., and there are public transit options available from all of them. Uh, Reagan Na uh, National, uh, Dulles, and BWI. Uh, we can tell you more about the public transit options if you care to know. And of course, DC itself is full of all kinds of interesting free museums and monuments to see. Uh, we are at the same metro stop as the zoo, uh, which again is free. So we hope we can convince you to vote for us for World Count 2017. Thank you. Questions will be all at once.